your host of The Edge on IC Radio, your source for news and entertainment. You can also find us on television, channel 182, on Charter Communications and Abundance Television, found on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. We are syndicated there. You can also find the podcast, the pad podcast, is netsnewsnetwork.net. I have my best girlfriend here with us right now. Her name is Loretta Roger, and she is with Cove Crafter. She does crafting. She has her own podcast. She has her own YouTube. She has her own everything. Your own website. So what's the website? How can folks find out more about you? Well, the website is LorettaRoger.com. It's R-O-D-G-E-R. Any of my social media links, except for TikTok, are above the main blog header on the left-hand side. And you just click the little icon. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Um, YouTube is just um, youtube.com slash at Loretta Roger. Or you can just put Loretta Roger in the search bar. You will you will find me. I do have playlists set up. So if you want to see some of the past projects from Cove Crafters, you can do that. And you can see all the folks who came and helped make those projects. So it has just, to me, it is incredible. I was going to give you a number here. Let's see if I can find it. I um, actually did a very quick calculation of how many patient gifts that we have made over the last five years. Because mm -hmm. we do have an anniversary coming up. It is the 11th of May. That doesn't sound right. What, I mean, June. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's June. And this is Co-Crafters, which is also... Yeah, it is. It's June 11th. I was right. I, for some reason, it just didn't seem to be the right date. So we're going to have a cake that's going to be made by Caroline. Um, and Kara is a really dear friend of mine, but she also does some ministry herself with uh, pennies for presents. And so that is awesome, awesome fun. Uh, but to date, we have made about 8,650 gifts for our patients and their families over the last five years. And that's that's been how many years? Five Wow, that's a lot of presents. It is. Um, it, it averages from 80 to 150 right now. There were several months where we were making 120 consistently. Mm -hmm. And this number does count a few months of when, right before Cove Crafters was formed, um, I was doing all of the gifts on my own, which was fine. But mm -hmm. I really, it was my goal from the beginning to have a group of people to mm -hmm. get together and make this a community effort. Mm -hmm. um, it makes things easier for one thing. Well, it does. And it's a lot of fun, too, because I have a lot of new, brand new friends. And if you like the last project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me show you something. So here is a picture right here from, and, and Loretta, I'm going to take you out just for a second. And maybe you'll be able to see it. Well, it's not that much bigger. Um, but, but anyway, here are just some of the core members of the class. That's correct. We had 17 last Thursday night. Mm-hmm. So that was awesome. No leftover food. Everybody, except for two who had signed up and they were kind of iffy at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, and they told me, hey, you know, just put me down. So maybe, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it because of other issues. And so uh, it worked out perfect. But uh, uh, Miss Leilani, who is sitting with the mask right next to me in the middle, mm -hmm. uh, seated, she actually got there last Thursday night a little bit early. So by the time Mike and I rolled up, uh, she had already started getting the tables ready. So it's like everybody, as they come in, they start pitching in, they get the stuff set up. And then as we're winding down and getting the projects finished, everybody pitches in once again and gets it all nice and clean. So um, mm -hmm. I do pr take pride in the fact that we leave the rain we use at Shepherd's Cove Hospice in better shape than what we found it sometimes. Mm -hmm. and, we do not leave it dirty. It's just people are, including you and Phil, of course, uh, step right up and do those uh, chores. And it it makes a difference. And you wouldn't think that something like sweeping the floor, you know, would mm -hmm. make a difference. But it makes a huge difference. Yeah. And uh, then we're all done for the night and we can get ready and reset and do it again next month. Mm -hmm. 
Absolutely. And I also wanted to mention before I, before we go, before I come back in, is there are a number of men who come and it's a great couples thing to do. If you and your hubby or you and your spouse want to do something, you know, together, this is a great thing. But the thing about it is Phil and I get really, really competitive. <laughs> I'm watching you too. I know. And I'll look over at him and he'll have a few more than I do. And I'm like, whoa. So I start just working at it harder, you know, to get it happening. Yeah. Last month's project has a kind of interesting backstory. I knew what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I have done similar little gift sets for um, craft fairs. And so I decided I want to do just a clothespin um, and magnet gift set. And so I started showing my sweet husband the prototypes. He goes, and he saw the clothespins. He's like, what are those for? And I went, oh, dear. <laughs> Oh, what do you use clothespins for? You can use them for chips. You can use them for clothes. You know, you can use them for anything. And yeah, magnets are magnets. It's not hard to figure out. But I had started this project to where it was going to have uh, just be put on a little piece of like scrapbook paper and just a little what I call backer board. And I, I didn't like it. And I'm showing it to my sweetheart. And he's like, Oh, I just don't like it. And it's like, we couldn't figure out why we didn't like it. We just didn't. So I decided I'm just going to come up with a new prototype and see what I can come up with. And so we came up with the boxes. Now this one is, doesn't have anything in it, but they look like this. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can see it a little bit better there. So mm -hmm. simple, but all of the goodies for, that we made for the patient's gift went in one of these and then they had their own bag. Mm -hmm. And a sweet little topper, and we still were out of there by eight, eight ten, I think we had mm -hmm. all up. So mm -hmm. really, really good. People just did really awesome. So next month's project, would you like a preview? I'm ready. Drum roll, please. Yes, because uh, June is, goes out in July. But it's a very patriotic theme. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. just a notebook. It's got its own pen. It's hard to see it, but this pen is actually patriotic as well. And um, I'm not sure right now if we're going to have anything else to put in there. Um, if there are any glow sticks that were left over from the race to remember, I may <laughs> grab a few of those and just have them in the packaging as well. <laughs> so simple, simple project as long as you listen to instructions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, really simple to do. And, um, and then also, you know, sometimes you'll just like, Phil and I have learned to do it kind of assembly style. And it's so, I mean, it seems like we get them done quicker that way, especially if it's anything that pertains to glue. I mean, you did that with any project. Well, and I recommend that, especially our last project, because it did have, uh, you know, took a left turn, so to speak, <laughs> instead of a right. Um, I ended up needing to just do the demonstration and show you guys how to put the boxes together in particular um, right there during the class instead of doing a video beforehand. It worked out really, really well. Mm -hmm. um, took a little bit more time, you know, but it was just worth it. I love the way that little box came out. And I love it because when they take all their goodies out, they can reuse that box for something else, a small gift, of, you know, for someone else. It was just a nice, they're called, um, what are they called? Milk cartons. Because mm -hmm. they kind of resemble a little, the little old fashioned milk cartons. But mm -hmm. yeah, I thought it was pretty cool too. And and then you kind of, you, I've learned a lot about crafting from you. Well, thank you. you know, one thing is what you do is you start, whatever's going to take the longest to do, like, like doing the, the clothespins took the longest to do because you had two different sizes and then you did kind of a mod podge with it as well. So and I love your little piano keys. So you had like, like, not piano keys, but you had music notes and you had those little strips. And so we put those on there and I just thought they were really cute. And then they took the longest to do. So Phil and I just went on ahead and did those first, then the little Mod Podge to make it stick on there and stay. Yeah, this time um, I did the package for the kits differently. I had bought some mesh bags and which are great because they're they're really large, but they'll hold everything in there. And mm -hmm. so that they will hold up to, I think, a 13 inch strip. So, you know, card cardstock is eight and a half by 11. Scrapbook paper could be eight by eight to 12 by 12, you know, in that range. But uh, if anybody ever wants to decoupage a paperclip, 
<laughs> excuse me, a, a clothespin. Clothespins are three eighths of an inch wide. She got it. So you have to do is put that little glue on there, get you a little strip, put it down, trim it up, put some more Mod Podge on that puppy, and let it dry. You're done. Now you've done a lot of different different types of crafts in the in the past. Which one was the most challenging? Do you think to make? Yeah, for the class. Uh, oh, that's easy. The tag book. Hmm. Every, nobody, well, I shouldn't say nobody. A lot of people did not listen to one part of the instruction. <laughs> you know why? Because we're busy talking because we've developed friendships and we've got to like pay more attention. Well, yeah, but it looks kind of funky if you didn't follow directions <laughs> because everything was supposed to all of the quotes or whatever were supposed to be on the right hand side and not the left hand side of the, mm -hmm. the two little pages together and uh, so that they could use the, the page that was blank for themselves for small pictures or just little notes that you know they'd like to write for their family and that was the intent of that book but it's like if it could go wrong it did Mm -hmm. And I promise you, we will <laughs> never do another one. Well, I got to tell you, this book has been one that I have absolutely treasured. Oh, your small little pocketbook? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like why. it. I'm using it for gardening. And, and in the book, it, because I'm always thinking of things I can hand down to my daughter-in-law. And so she likes gardening as well. So this one, and I've got down here when you gave it to me, it was given to me by Loretta Roger on Thursday, August the 11th, 2022. So I actually started, you can see where I started a, gov uh, a, a garden right here and then green onions. Oh, the chicken egg incubator. Remember when I did that? I do. That was a, a success, but I also put down here the thermostat had to be a particular way and all that stuff. And um, and then also the dates when I change the egg and when you, you know, kind of rotate the egg and that kind of thing. And then this is a recipe for sugar candy for the bees. So I've got that in here. And then I've got um, when I started the the um, water garden and what to do with that. So ins and outs, things you do the do and then things you don't do but anyway this has been a treasure and i chose you've given me a couple so i decided to use this one because it's got the tree of life on it so i thought well that'd be a good one for a garden absolutely um loretta we're going to have to go into a commercial break let's go into a break we're going to be right back in just a few minutes everybody hang tight The Hatter Cafe and Country Inn is nestled in the northeast corner of Alabama the Beautiful in the delightful town of Mentone. We're located on top of scenic Lookout Mountain near Little River and DeSoto State Park and located only five minutes from shopping and restaurants. There is also a nearby community walking path and golf course. We welcome everyone through the doors and we are committed to outstanding service for all guests. At the Hatter Cafe and Country Inn, we invite people from all walks of life to come and get away from it all, enjoy the open spaces, treetop views, fresh, clean air, and experience Southern hospitality at its finest. We look forward to hosting you. To reserve a special event, or if you would love a special getaway at the Country Inn, you can call us at 256 634 2018. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and my employees and I want to thank each and every one of you for your continued support. With everything going on right now, your rest is so important. That's why we're having the biggest My Pillow sale ever. Not only are my bed pillows as low as $19.98, but you can get the best body pillows ever. Regular $89.98, now only $29.98. Take your rest on the go with our Roll and Go Anywhere My Pillows for only $14.98. And we have our new couch and accent pillows. They aren't just for looks. They have My Pillows patented adjustable fill that gives you that amazing My Pillow comfort. In this economy, you get the best gifts ever for the best prices ever. So go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code and you get deep discounts on body, couch, bolster pills, and so much more, including my original bed pills for as low as $19.98. Please order now while quantities last. 
the only place I buy my beef is Lone Tree Ranch in Collinsville, Alabama. Their cattle is born and raised on their ranch, grass and grain fed, and you can feel confident when you serve your family and friends because their beef is all natural and no antibiotics or hormones are added. You can buy whole beef or perhaps go in with family or friends and buy half. Their customer service is number one as they take care of the delivery to their local processor and can deliver to your home for a small added fee. They also offer herd replacement heifers. I always call Lone Tree Ranch in Collinsville, Alabama for my beef specialty recipes and cookouts, and you can too. Food shortages are increasing, so buy local by calling 256-523-6462. That's 256-523-6462. Designs offers a line of handmade memorial, wedding, and keepsake jewelry that launched back in 1970. I'm a self-trained jewelry designer, and I will work closely with you to create unique designs you can love and treasure for years to come. Whether that be flowers that were used in a funeral arrangement or stones you found on the beach at a memorable trip, call me at 256-659-4319, and let's think of the possibilities. Are you ready? We all wonder what tomorrow will bring, but the future lays itself at the feet of the prepared and surrenders to the will of the persistent. It's not easy, but today shapes you so you can shape tomorrow. With Northeast Alabama Community College, when the future asks if you're ready, you can answer. Yes. Begin your future at Northeast Alabama Community College. At La Mon's Mexican Restaurant, located in Henniger, Alabama, and voted Best Mexican Restaurant of DeKalb County, Alabama 2020, we're here to serve you with authentic Mexican cuisine. Order easily online by going to lamonsmex.com or call 256-657-3999 to place your order. We're open Sunday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. and Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Whether you're celebrating a cozy date night for two or a celebration for a crowd, at Le Mans, you'll love our atmosphere and friendly servers. Thank you for dining with Le Mans Mexican Restaurant. Good afternoon. We are back. My name is Donna Fiesel, and I'm your host of The Edge on IC Radio, your source for news and entertainment. You can also find us on television, channel 182 on Charter Communications, Abundance Television, which is found on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. Um, when we have these Cove Crafters, uh, these are just fun events, and, and I've made a lot of really good friends. Oh, by the way, how many Donnas are in the class? Five. There's five of us. There's five. Phil said he thought the world wasn't ready for five Donnas. (laughs) (laughs) But we're out there. Your name has to be Donna. No, no, you can be any name you want to. But it's a lot of fun to go to these classes. And and they're free. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it was the ancient Santa Fe Cattle Company. Oh, is that not the best food? Yeah, we yeah, had these awesome sandwiches this week, too. Yeah, the club sandwiches are yummy. They're toasted, and they're really good. And Yeah, they were really good. Had some cheese on it, different kinds of meat. It was ham and turkey. and yep. Oh, and they had that awesome potato, potato soup. Potato soup. Wasn't that yummy? And guess what? It cost this much to come to Cove Crafters. Nothing. It does not cost a penny, but if you... Um, are watching our program, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Feel free to donate to Cove Crafters through the Shepherd's Cove Foundation, or you can contact me. Uh, Donna has my information, and hopefully she can put mine maybe down below or something like that. You can contact me, but if you're ever, like, cleaning out your house and you have stuff that you're not using or grandma's not using anymore, give me a give me a buzz, and, and I will help you with it. Now, if you want a receipt, then you would have to go through the foundation. If you don't, you just want to donate materials so they can be used. Um, for Shepherd's Cove Hospice, I also do some car ministries as well. Nothing goes to waste. Nothing. 
So what kind of things are you looking for right now? Could people just give you a gift card? So you can oh, just yeah, that would be that would be awesome. And it doesn't matter where it's to. I mean, you can give it Amazon or Walmart or Michaels, which is now I see one of your sponsors. Congratulations. Thank you. That is so cool. Um, glue guns and glue sticks um, are, are most consumable right now. We've been doing this five years, which means the glue guns I bought five years ago are now starting to die. So we mm -hmm. threw two more away last meeting. Oh, did you? Yeah. Did yeah. we do a gun salute to them? And they yes, you know, you have to thank them to, for their service and let them go <laughs> to the great trash can of the sky. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Dum -da -dum. So... <laughs> Let's mention your hubby because your hubby is a huge force in Cove Crafters and he helps you organize and and he does a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Uh, he does most of the time right now. He's a lot like you and he's been busy getting our garden in. Um, mm -hmm. he, he planted about 100 too many tomato plants and was given. <laughs> you, you think I'm kidding. No, I don't, because I did the same thing. We planted all these seeds. I didn't think they would all come up, Loretta, and they all came up. So. He, had, he had two, um, like, rolling shelves, you know, the industrial shelf things, in uh -huh. our dining room, and he has his own version of glow lights. So just regular, like, um, uh, LED incandescent bulbs in them, but they have enough of the blue light in there to help the plants, you know, get up some before you take them out. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he he did that, and um, yeah, he does. Uh, he gets to do the heavy lifting literally. I travel with two very um, heavy uh, men's tool chests, you know, the little rolling ones. They're not little. I shouldn't say little, but uh, they're heavy and. I'm not allowed to really pick up more than about 20 to 25 pounds. I really shouldn't even be picking up that much. Um, and so, and he'll also, so he puts them in the car, takes them into the building, reverse all the way back home. And like this week or next week, I'm going to have him bring them in the house. And I'm going to go back through them and, and make sure that everything I need is in them. Um, we weren't missing anything last time at all. It's just that glue sticks need to be replenished and you need to make sure all the power cores are okay because we had like a small bottle of glue that leaked on one that you had to mess with a little bit and it happens clean up go on yeah just it's move on fire, so hey <laughs> you know something else you always do you always start with prayer why do you do that well um the main Oops. the main i have no idea I think it. I think it's actually a, a paper trimmer. I punch a little hole in my paper trimmer and put a, a little ribbon on it so I can just hang it up. And I have to go. And I probably just kicked it when I moved a little bit, but that's what that was. And where was I? <laughs> I forget where I was. Um, where was I? Seriously. So why do you start? At, why you always start out with prayer? Oh well, the number re one reason I do that is that I am a Christian, and I do believe that the Bible is the inerrant Word of God, and that faith in Christ without it, you are not just lost; you are completely lost. There is no hope, and I'm the kind of person that believes that Christ is who He said He was, and I have too many things in my life that can prove that. Um, everything from going through a divorce 25, 26 years ago and restarting my life, literally restarting my life, to um, deaths in the family and hardships that we've, Mike and I have both gone through through the years. But I think that it's important to thank the Heavenly Father for what we've been given and pray that He will continue to bless us and God is through those tough times. Um, I can't, I'm really not supposed to get into this too much, but there was a death in our family in the last couple of weeks. And, and that's been very, very difficult. And uh, so when you are able to truly surrender to the guidance of the Lord as your personal Savior and to Lordship, not just being saved, but to Lordship in your life, mm -hmm. it doesn't make things easier but it does remind you that there is a purpose. Mm -hmm. And a real, real person is in control. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. 
Absolutely. Yeah, and, and I've also noticed every time you have prayer, it just kind of lightens the spirit because everybody's been busy. They've been working all day or they've been doing stuff out in the yard, whatever, and everybody's getting there. They're like, oh, and then it just kind of gives everybody a breath of fresh air. We have a little bit less than four minutes left in this segment. Let's talk for a few minutes about why people should volunteer. Uh, well, in general, whether you volunteer for Shepherd's Cove Hospice or someone where else, giving back of your time uh is really it's not just good for you physically but it's good for you mentally and you talk about uplifting anytime you're able to help another human being whether that's help them by letting them jump their car off whether it's um, making sure that uh, your local civic workers have some water when it's a really hot day mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter but if you take those few extra minutes and volunteer you're going to be blessed beyond measure what you give, you're going to get back 10 times more. And it's not monetary, but it, it is definitely a blessing in your life. Mm -hmm. And I, I do volunteer work. To me, it's the way of paying it forward. When Mike and I first moved here, mm -hmm. uh, we had gone through an experience in Maryland where we were from with hospice. And his one of his brothers um, was in hospice for about six to eight weeks. And I took care of him full time. So I had three children then, my two boys, plus Brian, because he had started having brain cancer as well and metastasized so bad. But um, my experience with hospice could not have been a better one. And when I found out there was an opportunity to come and, and be part of that, I was more than happy to step in. And still, I'm very happy to step in. Well, we're really proud that you are. And also when you volunteer, if you're, let's say you've been laid off from a job and you're working somewhere, the boss likes to know you stayed busy doing something. And they're always glad. And also bosses are proud of community outreach. That's a big deal right there. Well, you know, studies have even shown that people who volunteer, you know, let's just say it's been a while since you worked. Uh, for whatever reason, you know, you could have raised your kids and now you're getting back in the workforce or when a boss sees that you have been active in your community, you may actually make more money coming on board than people who don't have that. For one thing, you are going to be a happier person and your spouse is going to like you a lot better too because you're giving. And what do you think about this comment? About a minute and a half left in this segment. So what do you think about this comment? You cannot outgive God. You can't. That's the true success right there. That gives you success in life. Absolutely. And the thing is, that it's, it's not just about success. It's about joy. And, you know, joy doesn't necessarily mean you're happy. Mm -hmm. And that's what people don't always get. That, you know, how, how can you do this or that? And you've had a death in your family. How, how do you do that? You don't. You don't. You give it to Christ and let him handle it. It's above your pay grade. Mm -hmm. I know it's way above mine. Way, way above my pay grade. <laughs> just less than a minute. Let's also mention this. If you are new in town and you've just moved into the great state of Alabama, you're in northeast Alabama, this is a great way to meet people. And you'll find some awesome people in Albertville, Boaz, Alabama. What do you say to that, Loretta? Absolutely you will. <laughs> we are the cream of the crop. You'll meet the folks, you'll meet the movers and the shakers. And who knows if you're looking for a job, maybe the spouse just got, just moved in and found a position and you're looking for something. You just might meet that next employer because you're going to meet the best people. Loretta, we're going to have to call it a day. Thank you so much for for being on the show. And thank you so much for watching The Edge on IAC Radio, your source for news and entertainment. Find us on television two different ways. Channel 182, which is also Boaz, Albertville, Guntersville area. And you can also find us syndicated on Abundance Television, found on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire. And Loretta, you know, we got that new podcast right there, Net News I Network. I lost what you're doing here. Right. Oh, we love it. We love oh, this podcast. It's really, it's a good program. I like it a lot, Donna. Well, we love it too. And a lot of fantastic talk show hosts are on there as well. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you a little bit later with another segment with Loretta Roger.